Hey there, everybody. Hello. Happy Wednesday. Uh, it is not only my birthday, it is the beginning of a new uh, Dragalia Lost event. So we're going to be talking about that a little bit uh, right here, right now. Um, and if you also happen to play Fire Emblem Heroes, there is a giveaway going on in the description, so you, can che you should check that out. Uh, but first and foremost, we got to talk about this. Uh, we got an update last night, I think, probably around 11 or so. Uh, oh, sorry, 1 a.m. <laughs> we got this at 1 a.m., so it was it was a fresh start day, uh, kind of notification, and it's from uh, Matsura, and uh, you know they're they're thanking us for playing, but they're going to be talking about uh, a wish to the winds and uh, another event that we have going on. The wish to the winds is going to begin very very soon uh, tonight, I think, or technically tomorrow morning for you East Coasters such as myself. I'm not Pacific time. That's like 2 a.m. my time, so that's not going to be me. Um, but they're going to—they give us a little bit of notifications on what's coming up uh, for Dragalia Lost in the near future. So let's go over that, shall we? So we have November 14th, 2300 Pacific time, 2 a.m. Eastern. Uh, the showcase of Winds of Hope, as well as the facility event, A Wish to the Winds. Will start. So a facility event is kind of like the Halloween event that we had. You get like this little, uh, uh, I, I, like, like it was, it was like a, a candy house last time that helped power up your, your light adventures. And so this is, this is probably something similar to that where we have uh, the wind instead because there's a wind showcase. So we need wind heroes. Um, yeah, I'll talk about that in just a second. But uh, they will be introducing new wind element adventures, dragons and wear prints. Some of those worm prints will be of particular use in the upcoming facility event. Sweet. So uh, that, that's your big indication that you, you're going to want some of these if you plan on getting through uh, the raid or the facility or, or what have you. Uh, the facility event will see our heroes happen upon a sister and brother named Luis and Loen. Uh, meeting this pair is when the adventure begins. Sweet. Uh, building the Wind Shrine, this event's special facility, will increase the damage you deal to enemies within the quests related to this event, so leveling it up will prove very helpful. Additionally, the extra quests this time around will have been updated to allow for co-op play. Yes, that is what I was waiting for, honestly. Um, the fact that they took that away from the Halloween event really kind of like bummed everybody out. <laughs> everybody in my community at least was like, this is this isn't as exciting, um, and you know you just kind of had to grind through it on your own, which is dumb. <laughs> it's just dumb. Um, I don't know why we wouldn't have, you know, the the extra options of of being co-op, but now they are, and so life is good. Um, like I said, I feel like I feel like for for mobile games at least, Nintendo typically listens to, uh, you know, the developers typically listen to. The community and I feel like that was a big groan on everybody's part nobody was super happy about that nobody that I talked to was happy about it uh, so there we have the art for a wish to the winds that's the event and then the summon showcase which is winds of hope um, I will definitely be summoning on that because I don't know if you guys noticed uh, that's my win team it's not great <laughs> uh, my my overall might is gonna be capped very very low just because of you know the level of that I have, and uh, I'm very, I'm very apprehensive to spend a whole lot of uh, of, of of wormite or uh, or Eldwater to to upgrade things. But I have like ten thousand wormite, so I'm gonna be summoning on this for sure. I don't, I don't have any. <laughs> I have no five star wind units. Uh, Ranzel is probably my strongest, next to. I honestly don't <laughs> don't even know. I literally do not know. Um, so either way, I will be summoning for sure. I might actually do a video of it since I'm going to be summoning. Uh, so I guess maybe keep keep on the lookout if you're interested in seeing that. I'm not a huge fan of the odds in summoning Untragalia Lost, but I'll try and get some kind of wind hero that will be helpful. <laughs> uh, the other events I can typically kind of like eke through because you get a free unit with the raids, so... Yeah, uh, these not so much. So aside from that, the winter login bonus will begin on November 17th. We actually have a free tenfold coming up, and I, I believe that is it. Uh, so we should be getting a new uh, or a free tenfold summon very very soon, 
which is very, very handy, obviously, especially with a new showcase. Uh, after this, the next raid event, Resplendent Refrain. That's fun. Is scheduled to start at the end of November. So it seems like we have two of these events every month so far. Like, that, that seems to kind of be the trend. We have a raid event, um, and then we have a facility event. Uh, facility event usually being, you know, closer to the beginning, I guess, technically. No? Uh, actually, no. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> either way, uh, we get about one, one every two weeks. There's like a new event popping up, it seems like. Uh, I, I, I play a lot of Heroes, if you don't know, if you're not here from Heroes. Uh, I play Heroes consistently every day, and I've been doing this as well, but when they, when they, when they clash, for example, Tempest Trials meets Raid Event, um, yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's when I have my phone on Heroes and my iPad on Dragalia. And we just hope for the best. Uh, but either way, this is coming towards the end of November. Uh, from this event, we plan on removing the event reward Wyrm Prints. Interesting. These are the special Wyrm Prints that grant a damage boost against raid bosses. Ultimately, they decrease the opportunities players had to make good use of their regular Wyrm Prints. Essentially, these limited customization options for raid events. Interesting. So they're getting rid of the uh, the event Wyrm Prints, which is... Um, I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about that, honestly, so I'm not, I don't know if this means they're still going to be in there, or if they're just, they're getting rid of the free reward one, I don't know, um, when, when I was doing the raids, I used one of them, and then I used several other basic wear prints to help stack, uh, you know, your dragon power, but beyond that, uh, really, I haven't really thought too much about it. But if they think it's a problem, I guess, then that's a thing. Uh, they might bring it back. <laughs> they, they brought back the, the, the extra quest for co-op, so I guess that's a thing. Um, maybe they're just they're in the experimental phase. They're just trying things right now, maybe. We'll see. Uh, our intention is for players to enjoy growing stronger during these events, and this is the end result of us considering what would simply be the most fun. Note that the futuristic facility events are scheduled to proceed as usual. All right, or the, yeah, the future facility events. All right, so that's, nothing's changing there. But this one's interesting. This has, this has a very watery vibe. Uh, it looks like music notes. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, what else do we got? As for the details of the next raid event, perhaps you can tell from the title that songs will play a key role. We have prepared these brand new song, or three brand new songs, sorry, specifically for the event. And the new adventurer and songstress, Lucretia, Lucretia, <laughs> will be making her debut. Sweet. Um, songstress. Interesting. That's not a new weapon type, right? I hope. <laughs> I hope that's not new. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to the event and the new character. Of course. I love free characters. Give them to me. Uh, in today's 1.1.5 update, we've improved the AI of your team members. They will now more actively attack enemies and will use skills more frequently. Uh, great, this should make clearing quests a little bit easier. Can they not run into like spikes and flame walls? Like, I know we had a lot of progress in terms of now they hit treasure chests, right? Now, now they function more aggressively. Great. Can we not just run into obstacles? Please, it's all I'm. Mean, it's all I want, man. There's a flame wall, and then I just run right into it. Or like spikes are just standing there, and I just roll into it, and then I, yeah, it's it's a problem. I, AI is not so smart. Just saying. Um, additionally, enemies and avenue to power will no longer create barriers. Please check the notices you've received concerning the update for details. Nice. That's always super annoying. <laughs> Honestly, the barriers in in. Uh, Avenue of Power is, is super annoying. Uh, adjustments to Rupees, Manas, and Crystals. Okay, so we heard about this a little bit a while ago um, and said we'd be getting an update on it. We've noticed that many new players are becoming stuck due to lack of upgrade resources. For that reason, we will be increasing the amount of Mana, Crystals, and Eldwater you can get from Daily Endeavors and Login Bonuses. Nice. We've, uh, we've announced this information via the maintenance notice. Cool. Uh, so that's coming up. That's awesome. I like that. So they're not dropping the uh, the requirement, they're just giving it more, which I guess is okay. 
Uh, we've also seen that those playing the game a lot do not have enough rupees to craft all the weapons they want. To address this, we plan on increasing the amount of rupees produced by the rupee mines. Dope. <laughs> I don't ever really get caught because that like I'm I'm a semi-experienced player in in terms of games like these, so I know you always build up your resource production first. That is rule number one. If you don't want to get stuck late game, you definitely want to build a good foundation. Uh, so that was that was one of the things I did initially. So I haven't really noticed this problem, but unless you really really focus on your castle, I, I guess that could that could become a problem pretty easily. I, I would imagine. Uh, we also plan to increase the amount of rupees and crystals you can get from Avenue of Fortune and Avenue to Power, and also add a master difficulty to these quests. Oh, nice! That's actually really cool. I was wondering why there wasn't a master difficulty before, um, because like literally all the other quest options had that. Um, but I like this. I like this. This is this is good. These are good adjustments. I like this. Acquiring resources. Um, ba -ba -ba, they'll be able to convert resources into high tier resource advanced players will be able to convert their high extra their extra high tier resources into low tier resources maybe. Okay, so you can you can swap stuff now. Uh, we plan to include orbs of each element, various dragon scales, as well as crafting resources in the shop's treasure trade. So uh, that, I don't really use that all that often, but I guess having the option is always nice, so I'm glad they're doing that. Uh, the weapon type adjustments, oh my goodness. We want to improve certain weapon types, specifically the bow, uh, the bow, <laughs> the bow, the bow and lance. Uh, the idea is behind the bow is sharpshooting from a distance, naturally. Uh, we're going to reduce time between firing a force strike and when it actually lands, that's good. The lance, the idea is mid-range attacks. So normal attacks do not launch enemies. That's good. Kind of defeats the purpose of mid-range if you're like knocking your enemy back constantly. Um, these adjustments will not result in any visual changes, but they are directly connected to the gameplay experience. We hope these adjustments make using bows and lances more fun for everybody. You know, I, I recently started using axe, like the axe weapon, and I, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I like the flow of it. Um, I was I was a Xander main, but I think the next five-star axe I get, I'm, I'm probably going to main that. Um, please note these things do not turn out exactly as described here once the updates are all said and done But whatever form the update takes we are always striving to improve the experience like I said they're trying stuff out They're just trying to, to figure some stuff out. Good lord. This is a long update uh, Adding new quests <laughs> When comparing dragon trials master and imperial onslaught with advanced dragon trials, uh, there is a distinct gap in difficulty Okay we feel that there is not enough content to bridge that gap, so we are planning new content to fill it. Great job, Dragalia team. Uh, we hope to make assembling teams fun by, for example, increasing the weapons that you can craft. Oh god, more options. <laughs> I was already overwhelmed. Uh, we can't say much more about this at the moment, however. Uh, we're developing, ooh, we're delivering chapter 7 of the main story at the end of the year. Uh, fairies, the second heir, appears in the new chapter, and some light is shed upon certain characters. Backstory. Excuse me, Zethia. Please. Can I please summon for Zethia? That's what I'm saving my might for. I got 10k. It's not for this event. It's for Zethia whenever they release her. Uh, aside from this, it's like, it looks like the more, uh, more and more people are clearing High Midgar Stormer's, uh, trial, which means next up will be another High Dragon <laughs> I haven't done that. I don't know who's doing all this, but I have not done that. We're planning to kick off mid-December, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Uh, what do you think about the first part of what's ahead? Blah blah blah. Uh, development team's passion and our dedication to the game. Thank you for playing. Well, great. Thank you, Director Matsura. I appreciate you, man. Um, yeah. So this looks good. I guess there's a lot that's coming up. Happy birthday to me, I suppose. Um, like I said, I will be summoning on this event, because, because <laughs> I kinda gotta, um, but, you know, beyond that, I guess, in the comments, let me know what you guys think about the updates that are coming, um, I am pretty excited for it, I guess, technically, uh, I wanted, I wanted a new event that kind of put me outside my comfort zone, because I felt very at home regarding, uh, the light event, 
and um, even even Fragonoth and this one. Like I felt pretty okay because I had um, I already had characters that were strong enough to kind of edge me through it. Um, but this this is this is almost ground zero for me. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited to, to, to like try some new characters out and uh, and give them a shot. I guess so. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about all the updates that are coming our way this November. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.